Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Cameriana, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna be showing y'all what is on my iPhone 13 Pro Max. One, two, three, fuck it. My darling, I love you, I love you, I love you. If you haven't um, seen my unboxing video yet, go watch it. It's the last video I posted. Um, sorry this video is late, by the way. I was supposed to film it yesterday, but yesterday was very... Anyways, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to try and keep my entire phone in the shot at all times, but this is something new that I'm trying, so it's going to be quite hard. Um, but... Hi! Okay, so this is my phone um the iphone 13 pro max check out the unboxing for all the specs and all that jazz but this is my lock screen um i actually made this wallpaper and i plan on doing this for like the next for like a while um so whenever a new month comes i'll have a new wallpaper with a new um color scheme this month i chose a nude i don't really know why i should have chose like orange or something from the fact that it's spooky season slash fall but um this is what i thought of nude was really like in my brain for a while so nude is what i went with if you swipe to the left you have all of my widgets for some reason it's on new york and i have no idea why but you know what it's fine um next to that is my notion widget from my entire like notion workspace um, then we have my, um, what's it called? Screen time? Yeah. Um, ignore that. Like, that right there from 12 a.m. to 6 a.m., that's definitely FaceTime, okay? No, let's not talk about it. Um, but I really have not been on my phone that much. I have not had the opportunity. It's probably the first time I'm actually getting on my phone. <laughs> but, um, like, as you can tell, Maps was on for an hour because I was driving somewhere. Spotify, five minutes. YouTube, five minutes. Facebook, two minutes. Like, I have not been on my phone today, y'all. But anyways, then we have the rest of the day, which today is Isaiah 64 eight. Then we have my Canvas widget, which basically shows my grades. It basically shows the announcements um, of my class, which I'm probably going to block this out because it has her name on it. And then we have Shop, which tracks all my stuff which I'll like, go into more. And then Shazam is at the bottom. So let's go ahead and go into my phone. Bloop. So my first page is basically um, my like everything page. All these apps I use every single day. Um, so yeah, the first widget up here, I don't know if you guys can see because it's a very dark picture, but it's a picture of my boyfriend. Um, it's got 419 on it, but because that's our... Um, anniversary um and then we have the weather which this is actually my town oh i didn't mean to click my spotify <laughs> um this is actually my town so that one's where i carry it but <laughs> then we have a spotify widget at the middle which just displays what i recently played i like the bigger one better than the small one because then i can like choose playlists but if you guys want to follow me on spotify or whatever it's literally my name don't pay attention to the picture because I'm going to change all of the pictures of all my social medias. But again, for like the 80th time. But yeah, these are my, um, this is my Spotify. And then the bottom is just apps that I use literally every single day. The first app is the Roku app, which basically controls my TV from my phone, which I find so cool. Like, um... My TV isn't on right now, so it doesn't display like all this stuff that I have. But if I click remote, oh, never mind. It's telling me to connect to a device. I did. Oh, it says it's gone because it's not the TV's not on. But yeah, I can basically control my TV from my phone. Then we have my messages, which y'all know what messages are. We have App Store. Then we have Spark, which is basically a place where I can have all of my emails in one app. Um, I have like three Google emails and then I have an Outlook email for my college. So instead of going, switching, having to switch between the apps every day, I can just have that one app, um, for all of my stuff, which is so convenient and it's free. I've seen stuff like this that like you have to pay for this completely free. I love it. Then we have Google photos, which is where I keep all of my photos instead of, um, 
what's it called like the photo app that comes with apple i don't use that one because it takes up too much storage then we have state employees credit union which is my bank maps and settings the next page is like my school and work page um so at the top we have moodle which is basically how i keep up with my assignments and stuff for college it's like the blackboard for my school because i feel like blackboard is blackboard is a lot more popular than moodle is um student is how i keep up with my assignments for my high school classes um but it's really called like cam canvas yeah it's called canvas um i don't know why the app is called student but anyways then we have Notion, which you guys know what that is. <laughs> and if you don't, go check out my Notion tour. I'm, I'm filming another one soon too, so, <laughs> you know. Um, then we have a folder with all of my other school apps. We have Google Docs. I think that's called Socratic. Um, basically, it's like a more, def it's a more defined Google, if that makes sense. Like. I don't know how to explain it <laughs> but then we have a google calendar which i don't really use anymore um but once i'm fully confident in myself with my bullet journal i'll delete it <laughs> uh we have good notes which is where i keep literally everything google meet and flora which is the free version of forest basically what you do is you set a timer for a certain amount of minutes and you work for that time and it keeps you off of your phone if you start the timer and you exit the app um for like three seconds or so it'll kill the tree that you planted when you started the timer um and there's like a way where you can actually pay to do it like you can wait a dollar and if you kill the tree then they take the dollar <laughs> and then to the left to the right of these i just have a pinterest widget which i believe is my jesus board let's see yep it's my jesus board um and then in the middle here i have another big widget just like the first screen and it's my master to-do list on my reminders you can see i have not cleaned out any of my playlists um because those the other ones are done but those are like the biggest playlists that i have and um yeah it's gonna take me a minute <laughs> and then at the bottom here we have a color widget that's just just like a match to the nude that says little things make big things happen. I thought that was cute. Um, then we have reminders, which we know what that is. Daily pay, which is how I keep track of how much I make at my job, like per pay period. UKG dimensions is how I take days off and pay core is like how I see my pay stubs and all of that. So that's all like work related stuff this page is my every literally everything else page <laughs> um so at the top i have the apps that i use the most i like this because i kind of like try to keep it out of reach so that if i'm lazy enough i won't even touch any of this stuff because all the stuff that i barely use is at the bottom so the first like little line here is social media we have in the folder, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go follow me on Instagram. This is my Instagram, Camera Ayana, go follow me. I'm finna post today too, <laughs> okay, anyways. Um, and then Twitter, if you wanna follow me on Twitter, I'm like, so not active on Twitter, but it's Camera Ayana with the extra A on the end. Oh yeah, my video hit 100 plus views in eight hours thank you so much for the last video that i posted <laughs> yes sir anyways um and then we have pinterest which i love pinterest pinterest is like my getaway from everything um i love it so much like my pinterest feed is literally all over the place it's not even funny then we have tiktok this is my tiktok <coughs> then we have tiktok this is my tiktok um ignore the heck out of that that was before i had my hair finished but if you want to follow me you can i'm definitely down what is this purple pink blue that was, my oh, that was for my birthday anyways okay so yeah this is my tiktok if you want to follow me follow me i'm i don't care um and then we have snapchat e <laughs> um literally I never post on Snapchat. I use Snapchat for the filters and the memories. 
that's it um but if i do post it's on my private story so if you add me you have the slight chance that i will add you back because um not even on snapchat like that but um everything goes down in the private story so if you'd be like hey yo i'm from your youtube channel i might just put you in there <laughs> um but the next like little section is talk so in here i have messenger which is attached to um facebook then we have zoom and then we have group me which i only have this app because my family on my dad's side has a group chat and that's where we all talk then we have facetime marco polo which is basically this thing i'm gonna show y'all okay so basically this, if i want to like send a video to my sister i click that little button and now she can hear me and if she goes to it like right now she'll hear me talking like right now but this is this is for a video ignore this um and then i just press it it stops and then you'll see like the little videos over there but anyways she's gonna be like see that and be like what and then we have foam so these two put these two um widgets are pinterest widgets this one i believe is my favorite colors yep and then under that we have my watch list for my notion page and then this one i believe is um that girl yep and then under that is all of my like activity stuff for my watch i just put my watch on like before i left the house and i literally been driving all day so don't come for me um it's usually full <laughs> but then at the bottom we have every single app that is relevant to me that i use like maybe every week at least once in food we have mcdonald's store dash starbucks and carly c's carly c's is a grocery store i can get you like coupons and stuff from that in money we have paypal cash at Venmo. those three i use to either send money or get money then we have rewards i wish i had a survey so i can show you guys but basically it gives you a survey right like it'll send you a notification be like um yeah 24 hours to fill the survey out it's a survey about like where you've shopped so it has your location and then it'll ask you like hey did you go to this place and then it'll ask you like what you did at the store or whatever and you can get up to i think like 50 cent for a survey and it gives you a payout once you reach two dollars i'm so close i can get like one more survey and i'll be good <laughs> but um yeah it's just like an extra two dollars in my bank account which you know is always needed um and then we have get upside basically it's like fetch rewards um but only for if you use a card to pay instead of with like fetch rewards you can use card or cash um but you get percent like a certain amount of percent cash back cash back for whatever you buy like this morning i got gas and i think it was like five cent five percent five cent five percent i think it was five percent cash back i don't know um and then fetch rewards you basically do the same thing but you don't get money you get coins as you can see i have three thousand of them because i used them um but you scan a receipt you get points and you can use them for gift cards or like discounts and then in clothes we have rami blushmark and goat rami and blushmark are for like clothes and then goat is for shoes and then the rest of it which is just shopping uni days gives me discounts since i'm a college student amazon we all know what that is we all know what amazon is groupon gives me discounts on literally anything and everything um around me like location wise shop lets me track all of my packages that come to my house and free prints is where i print all of my pictures if you haven't seen my picture slash photo wall collage thingy go on my instagram or my tiktok um and there's a video of me putting it up but i've also changed it <laughs> but it's relatively the same um but free prints is where i got most of my pictures if i didn't get them from free prints i got them from spotify spotify shutterfly <laughs> so yeah then at the bottom we have entertainment which has goodreads books and lippy goodreads is where i keep track of all of the books that i read i don't have many friends up here to be honest with you um it's just like my sister and this youtuber that i have up here um and they be updating all the time but i really don't i don't update unless i'm like reading a book 
um books is where i read books <laughs> i'm currently reading the hunger games and these two books are on like the back burner because the hunger games is like the main right now <laughs> and then we have libby which is an electronic library basically you connect your library card to the app and you can check out books and it's like doing it in person but it's on your phone <laughs> and you can read the book on your phone and then i have two apps for like watching stuff because i generally don't watch tv on my phone i watch it on my ipad or my laptop or my actual tv but i don't watch tv on my phone only way i will is if i'm like bored and have nothing else to do and i'm out or if like i'm at work i watch tv <laughs> on my phone most of the time i'm watching Grey's anatomy on netflix or it was sunny with a chance on disney but i finished it so i gotta find a new disney show <laughs> literally like before a couple of days ago disney plus was not on my phone i just downloaded it so i can watch sunny with a chance while i was at work <laughs> but then we have self-care fitness which is attached to my app health which is a generic apple um app and then we have plant nanny which my plant is probably dead or withering away um i haven't wa had water in in days but <laughs> basically when you have a full like cup or bottle of water you press and hold this little thing and it'll feed your plant water and basically the goal is to keep the plant alive i haven't killed a plant yet but um i'm very close as you can see my plant is very much struggling right now um it's a sunflower though i'm very excited for it to grow but i should probably drink some water <laughs> then we have games which i never play games on my phone like that's not just something that i do but i have these up here because these keep me busy when i'm literally have nothing to do we have kardashian which is like kim kardashian's um i think it's kim kardashian's game yeah it's kim kardashian's like little game that she made um age of solitaire is basically solitaire sticky hands <laughs> i don't know if it'll load but yeah i was in the middle of a game i haven't played this in forever but basically it's it's just solitaire but it doesn't look like i can do anything yeah i'm gonna the only reason i probably the reason why i left is because i have a 23 win streak and i'm gonna have to <sighs> oh did that do something probably not no it didn't can we have another one no that didn't do anything either okay anyways <clears throat> so yeah that's why i have that this is not a gram and it i think when people look at it they're like oh my gosh this looks so complicated it's really like the easiest game basically what you have to do is like block off the stuff according to the numbers <laughs> so like this one right here is six two so i can oops i need to look at it i guess um I can go here because that's six this is marked off so I know that I know it's gonna be in the middle I just don't know which one. Oh, yes I do because that's four or five and this is six five one one um but basically it's not hard once you oops it's not hard once you get the hang of it um and once you like understand what you're doing it's really like the easiest game but i guess people are like bro this looks complicated how do you do this when they first see it it's really not that hard Oopsie. okay anyways and then we have sudoku which is also another game that i get like questions about Although Sudoku is popular, a lot of people don't really know how to play it or don't understand it. I probably won't finish the game that I'm about to start. Mm, definitely not, because it's on different game modes. So we're not even going to touch that. Anyways, <laughs> then we have a PlayStation app, because if you didn't know, I have a PlayStation 4. PlayStation 4. PS4? Yes, I have a PS4. Okay. And then we have my miscellaneous stuff, the stuff that I use occasionally, like this right here. This can go um stuff that i use occasionally um workout women is the app that i used to work out find my that's a iphone app 
photos is an iphone app and the only reason i have this is because my boyfriend and i have an album together and i can't have it on google photos because he doesn't have google photos because he sucks but it's fine um and then we have alumni alumni home which is how i control my led lights i don't think you'll be able to see them you can see the reflection in my phone like when they turn on and turn off or if i can turn them off you can see the reflection in my phone Okay, now they're off, now they're on. And then I can also control like, we can have different colors. See, um, it's really cool. And then we have clock, which I use this for a, to set my alarm in the morning. Hold on, to set my alarm in the morning, which I have to be up at eight tomorrow, cool. And um, to set a two minute timer, because that's how long you're supposed to brush your teeth. And I use that. And then my very last page is, well, it's supposed to be my very last page. Um, I'm actually glad I did that though, so I can show you guys. This is my home screen. It's this really, it looks like pinker on the screen, but it's nude in person, like a beige kind of nude. Um, I thought this was like a really pretty picture though. So anyways, um, up here we have a color widget, just a nude color widget. Over here we have notes. Usually it'll take you to like, it'll show like preview a note but there's no notes in there in my notes folder because they're all organized. So we'll do random notes for now. <laughs> um, then we have my Notion page, like the main one, um, the same one that was in the widget on my lock screen. Then we have sleep because I like to know how much I slept last night. Last night I slept for seven hours and 20 minutes, so that's dope. And then we have um, my batteries at the bottom, which I didn't even realize I had airpon in until just now. <laughs> and apparently it's on 75%. Okay, so the last few things I want to show you guys is the bottom here. My little apps at the bottom of the screen. I have YouTube because that's usually what I'm doing if I'm on my phone. Then we have Safari, Notes, and Spotify at the bottom. And then with my control center... Sorry, I'm one-handing this, so it's hard. <laughs> um, up here, we have like the generic stuff. Over here is generic, the music playing thing. We have the volume, we have a brightness, screen mirroring. I always have my auto lock on because I don't like my phone turning that way. Then we have all my focuses. I feel like I have a lot, but it's just the ones that came with it. And then <laughs> the two that I added. So we have do not disturb, uh, personal work and sleep came and driving came with it, but I added school and YouTube. So typically when school is on, if I do that, um, I'm only, I only have access to this page. That's it. I normally wouldn't have access to that page, but since this page is relatively new, I need to like uncheck that. But normally I would only have access to this page because this is where all my school stuff is um let's put it back on youtube and then um at the bottom we have flashlight the timer is always on two minutes <laughs> calculator little power mode shazam for like quick access uh screen recording whether my phone is on light mode or dark mode it's always on dark mode but sometimes i need to switch it for like random reasons and then the new note automatic button and yeah that's what's on my phone. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to tune in next Tuesday for, wait, what's say Don't forget to tune in Saturday for another video. <laughs> I will see you guys soon. And yeah, I don't remember which outro I picked yet. I don't think I've settled on one yet. So this is.